updates by the Shipping Tribune. Here we bring to you the latest maritime daily news in a short form video format. Please subscribe for regular updates. Freight market scenario by Segal Sea Trade. On September 12th, the Asia Pacific Regional Panamax freight rates were higher. The Asia Pacific Supermax freight rates were mixed. The Cape size freight rates trended sideways to slightly up. The Pacific handy size activity was stable. Government to lift cabotage rules totally to push coastal shipping. In the biggest reform yet in the shipping sector, the Narendra Modi led government plans to totally remove a so called cabotage rules for ships carrying all types of cargo on local routes, a move that will allow foreign registered flagships to do business along the country's coast without securing a license from the Directorate General of Shipping. The move aimed at promoting coastal shipping and fulfill a budget announcement by Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaram will draw local fleet owners who have always opposed easing cabotage restrictions. The Indian National Ship Owners Association, a lobby group for local fleet owners, will discuss the government proposal at a later meeting date this month to chalk out a strategy people with knowledge of the matter said. MOL Chemical Tankers to Acquire Fairfield Chemical Carriers Mitsui OSK Lines Limited yesterday announced that its wholly owned group company, MOL Chemical Tankers Private Limited, has reached an agreement in principle with Fairfield Maxwell Limited by which MOLCT would acquire the business of Fairfield Chemical Carriers. The acquisition has been approved by the board of directors of both companies and MOL, subject to the usual terms and conditions as set forth in the share purchase agreement. In acquiring the FCC's business, MOLCT would obtain 100% of the shares in Fairfield Chemical Carriers Private Limited in an all-cash transaction for about 400 million US dollars, subject to change depending on the price adjustment under the share purchase agreement. Baltic Index extends gain as Panamax rates hit four-month peak. The Baltic Exchange's main rival Sea Freight Index extended gains to a fifth trade session on Tuesday on firm demand across Western segments, with Panamax hitting its highest since late April. The overall index, which factors in rates for Cape Size Panamax and Supermax shipping vessels, rose 26 points or 2.2% 2 .2 to 1,235. The Panamax index gained 67 points or 4.4% 4 .4 to 1,575, its highest level since April 28th. Asia Fuel Oil Spot Premium Steady Market Eyes October Tenders. Spot premiums for fuel oil were little changed in Asia on Tuesday, with the market eyeing tenders for October loading product. The 0.5% DLSFO premium was pegged at $3 a metric ton, while October crack closed at a premium of $8.26 a barrel at 8.30 GMT. Meanwhile, the HSFO market eased slightly with spot trade remaining largely thin. The 3 d CST HSFO cash premium eased to $11.2 a ton, while October crack dipped to a discount of $9.5 a barrel. Thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you like the video. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to the Shipping Tribune YouTube channel if you haven't already.